And we're back. Now we're getting ready to head up the mountain. We're up above the borough of Dolphin. We call them boroughs. Township boroughs, cities, and towns in Pennsylvania. That's what we have. We're in the borough of Dolphin. Coincidentally, our county that we live in is called Dolphin County. Beautiful ride. I can't wait till spring. I am so looking forward to spring. Around a bend here, we'll be coming up to Clark's Creek. And I think we will take a ride up. I think today we'll go up to Clark's Creek. We'll save Pals Creek for another day. We'll take a ride up to where my father used to take us fishing. And I've taken you folks up here before. And up ahead is 3B Ice Cream, famous ice cream place. You know what? No, let's go over the mountain. Let's skip the Clark's Creek for today. Greeby Ice Cream here on the left. Local ice cream place. Every time we went fishing, we stopped and got ice cream afterwards. And I mean, they give you, a, when you say small, they give you a lot of ice cream. Okay. Great place. Great place. It's taken my kids there a number of times. Here there's a stone farmhouse. And what the stone farmhouse was, this was an airfield, a grass airfield. It still is, I guess. Uh, I don't know how much they manage it. And people could fly in with their planes and stuff. The guy that lived there had a had an airplane and so he would he made an airstrip and then allowed people to come in and fly in. So here we go up the mountain. It's called Peter's Mountain. It's part of the Appalachian Mountains. That's what we're going to go up now. And we are trucking up in the Redneck Cadillac. Big Daddy's pickup truck. Hopefully, up here where I want to go, have the gate open. We'll be able to drive down and through. It might be a little muddy, but that's okay. I got four-wheel drive. I got a shotgun rifle and a four-wheel drive. Country boy can survive. No Bocephus. It's a well-traveled route. Route 225, this is called. Um, before they built the road around the mountain, along the river, 147, this was the way trucks would go up and down over the mountain. And let me tell you something, folks. When you get up here and you see this, a lot of accidents, a lot of accidents. In the wintertime, in the fog, in the rain. I mean, I mean, look at the road. I mean, just look at this road. It's just windy, curvy road. And up here at the top, my ears are popping. It's a big curve. We used to call this place the cat house. Years ago, it was a bar. Then it was somebody's house. And that's part of the Appalachian Trail. That's a parking lot where you can get out and walk the Appalachian Trail. There's a bridge that goes over. That's on the Appalachian Trail. But look at that valley. That's, uh, that's Powell's Valley right there. The house is still there where we just passed. And uh, I guess people still live in there. What a view. What a view. I'm going to come up and stop and take some pictures of that when we come back. But now we're heading back down the mountain. Now we're heading, we're still in Dolphin County, and we're going to head into Halifax Township, which is where Powell's Creek is. And we're going to take a stroll down memory lane a little bit. Sorry about that. Should 
turned it on the airplane mode. I don't know what she wants. My wife called and told her I was going to be doing some recording. So, and we're coming down. Here's another nasty turn. So you can see why tractor trailers would have a hard time. If their brakes went, they are pretty much screwed. Coming down off the mountain. Beautiful day out. Beautiful day. Beautiful. Love it. Coming down here, right to the base of the mountain. Welcome to Halifax, folks. Love this area. I, you know, I, I, I would pay the money to live up here. I would pay the money. That's how much I love this area up here. My childhood, best childhood memories are up this way. But then I worked up here at a camp that's in Halifax. Actually, it's where we're heading. Powell's Creek, we're crossing over. The lower portion of Powell's Creek, another couple miles or so, and it dumps into the Susquehanna River. Now we're getting on he Camp Hebron Road. This is where the excitement would really build up. We're almost there, we're almost there. We're gonna get out and do some fishing. I loved being in the woods, loved it. As a kid, your imagination runs wild. We would see pheasant, we would see Deer, groundhog, saw big downy headed woodpeckers, I guess they are. I don't think he's running. Not a good way to run down the road like that. There's the lions. Those lions have been there, folks, for almost 50 years. On the side of the road like that. That house. I don't know, that's kind of gaudy if you ask me. But they love it. It's all farmland up here. We'd see pheasant, we'd see deer, lots of squirrels, chipmunks. You know, and you think, ah, oh, no big deal, squirrels and chipmunks and birds. Oh man, take the time to, to stand there or sit there and listen and look and smell. It's beautiful when you can sit there with just your thoughts, just you and your thoughts and you're just sitting in the woods. There's nothing more tranquil, nothing more peaceful than that. I would love to buy some land up here and build a house, and uh, it might happen. Something we're working on. I'm gonna pause it here real quick. So we're back. I just wanted to uh, check something on the phone. Coming up in the woods. Isn't this beautiful? Isn't this nice? Just a nice relaxing ride. Lots of great memories. My brothers and my dad. Great memories. Back in the days of my youth, when I was innocent, naive, my eyes were wide open to what the world had to show me. All right, let's see if it's open. There's the creek. Oh, she's up. She's muddy because it's been raining. And she's up. That's good. That's the way we like it. It's down over the... That's like a 35, 40 foot drop down over there. There's the lake, got a little ice on it, still not completely frozen over, probably won't be this winter. 
Probably won't be. And there's the camp property on both sides. They have a tubing run up here. Hasn't gotten much use lately. I don't know if it will. Oh, they got the gate closed on it. Oh well. I guess we're not going up there today. That's a shame. To the left here is now a house. It used to be a church. It was Halifax Community Church. Pastor Willie Weaver built the church, started the church. Some people bought some land, built some houses. But I would love to live up here. Love to live up here. Cannot tell you how much I would love to be up here. Yeah, the creek's up. The creek is up. So, what we're going to do is, uh, I'm going to find a place. i going to pull over. And uh, hang out for a little bit. It's going to be a long video, folks. It's going to be part two. Pause it for now until I find a place to pull over. Okay, not able to find a place where I can safely pull over. But I hope that wasn't too long for you. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the story. I'll bring you more on the road where you actually see me and someone else that I am spending time with. Have a great day, everybody, and I'll talk to you soon.